My name is Dr. Justin Wright, and I live and practice here in Corsicana, Texas. We see all walks of life here at Just Wright Dental. We always are looking to treat souls and not teeth. As dentists, we're scientists, we're artists, and we're engineers. Lasting dentistry is what we are about. We do same-day dentistry often. If somebody is hurting, our staff knows we are going to stay until everything, everybody's taken care of before we go home. People are self-conscious about their teeth when they have put things off for a really long time. We've seen it all. It was highly embarrassing uh, most of my life to smile. I did not want to go out with anybody. I didn't want to talk to anybody unless my hand was over my mouth. I just looked like a mean, grumpy old lady. And that's not who I am. People don't need to feel judged when they come up to us. Our whole team truly is looking at everything, saying on a global standpoint for this person's life, how do we set them up for success? They made me feel at ease really quickly. And I felt like, okay, I can share with him my history and he's going to listen. And I did, and he listened and he asked questions. No one else has ever done that. His caring for people carries over in the way he does his profession. I was impressed with it. Made you feel like you're supposed to be here. We know that if they come in one time and they're scared, all we need is one chance to touch them and we'll have them for life. Dr. Wright has done a wonderful job, this entire staff has, to maintain my teeth and maintain whatever smile I happen to have still without uh, compromising any more of my teeth. Everybody has a, a first impression and Dr. Wright was a very, very good one right off the bat. They trust us at that point. Is it their favorite thing to come back? No, but do, have we established a huge precedent? Absolutely, because we, we made something that they were absolutely scared of much, much easier. We first met the Wright family. Justin's father ran out of gasoline in front of my home and he came up to the door and asked if we, we had any gas. We just uh, developed a, a friendship. We've been involved uh, uh, with him very much his, his whole life. My name is Audrey and I live in Kearns, Texas, where I currently teach uh, sophomore and senior English. Well, I'm Dwayne Nutt, born in Carson County, Texas, September 6, 1933. Graduated in class of 51, SMU, class of 55. I'm uh, J.B. Lewis Sr. I live in Fairfield, Texas. I uh, retired and uh, right now I'm with, in with uh, real estate. My mother and father, I do not recall them ever having their own teeth. We all had a toothbrush, but it was never anything that my parents felt was an absolute necessity because after all, we always get false teeth. Our parents taking care of us, taking care of our teeth and stuff, but back in those days, I don't guess, we had a lot of love in the house but as far as being financially sound, just to go to the dentist every time you needed to, we probably did not. I think uh, when I was a child, the dentistry was certainly different. They didn't practice preventative dentistry so much as they do now. And I um, had a small palate, so I had some teeth pulled that probably should not have been pulled at the time. And, um, so eventually it, it caused me to have dental problems. I tried once I became an adult, once I got older, to be very, very aware of my dental hygiene to the point where I would brush my teeth up to five times a day. There's four main categories that end up leading to people needing uh, a single implant or full mouth implants. I think the biggest category though that most people fit into is is I like to describe it as the deck of cards. We're all given a deck of cards with our genealogy that we've, that we've been given, the things that happened to us in life, the choices that we've made, and, and the things that we're predisposed to. 
And so you can't really control the deck of cars that you've been given. Lately, I've had two implants. I've had a couple of three extractions because I'm an old man and hadn't taken care of my teeth the way I should have. No cases alike. We don't treat any of them the same. They're all different. They're all different people. They have all their different sets of needs as a person, and they have all their different sets of needs for their actual teeth and their smile. I had been uh, using a dentist here in Cleburne that had recommended Justin uh, and, and guided him throughout his, his early career. He retired, he up and retired. And I would, I'd been having some uh, infection problems with my gums and everything. And uh, just kinda, I, I, I guess I was just trying to get by. Uh, I went down to see Justin and he uh, took the x-rays and everything that, that I needed to where he could uh, diagnose what was going on and everything and, and came back and he said really to take care of it said we need to replace your teeth. I had a um, root canal on this tooth. Uh, it apparently had died is what it, I was told and I had a crown on it and uh, eventually uh, the, the tooth was still given uh, the issues and had at that time I had it pulled by a different dentist and he wanted to put a bridge in. At that time I didn't have the finances to want to put a bridge in so I just left the tooth out. But Dr. Wright noticed that it was actually compromising all my other teeth around it uh, when he saw me and suggested the implant. Along in the early 90s I started having a little bit of a problem with my teeth and I had partials. I had one on top, one on bottom, I had, uh, and I had wire in my mouth, and some of this wire was hooked to some teeth, and over a period of time, these teeth got loose, or where that wire was hooked on them, and it just gave me uh, problems. And I was uh, told my wife, Diana, I told her one day, I said, what we need to do is find me a good dentist to go to. And I got shopping around a little bit, and I seen an ad in the newspaper in a hometown paper there in Fairfield on Dr. Wright. And so I came up here to them, and I was very, very impressed. I bit into, of all things, a banana and a tooth broke. And it wasn't until I went to see Dr. Wright that I found out why it happened, because there was no bond left. I pretty much brushed the bond away. Dr. Wright, we would stand in front of my x-rays and he would point out, you know, why I needed something different. When I come in, they uh, asked me about my background on my teeth. They uh, x-rayed me. Several different people looked at me, looked at my mouth. Uh, Dr. Wright came in, looked at me, and uh, told me where most of the problems were after the x-rays. And uh, I was just impressed with the way that uh, they uh, handled their stuff with me. Dr. Wright is a fireball of energy. He's quick, he, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's looking at the minute he sees it. That's the best thing about him. He's got a good sense of judgment. That confidence says to me, I can put me into your hands and know it's going to be all right. My heart is to be able to give people excellent dentistry where it is valued. It's come from a relationship of, of years that, that, that I know him and, and I can trust him. Because, but I do, I believe, I believe that he wants the best for his patients. I'm ready to see my patients again. I'm ready to see my team again. There is no dread about coming back to do what, what, you, what I love to do. Is it work? Yeah, but most of the time it doesn't feel like it. Most of the time days go by really, really fast. He's always smiling when he comes in and uh, to see you, and um, sometimes he's humming a song. In my opinion, he genuinely cares for people. He makes you feel equal, and that's very important, especially if you've got to make a decision with something like this. His staff was knowledgeable and, and very caring. I mean, uh, I felt really at home. He and his staff are absolutely wonderful. They answered every question I had. They gave me every opportunity to learn as much as I could. 
If you're in for cleaning, the hygienist is waiting at the door for you. When you come in, oh, Mr. Nutt, it's good to see you. Come on in. I walk in, I sit down, I'm comfortable. There's no anxiety. I know the girls will get to me as soon as they can. Everybody's happy to see you. Hello, hey, where have you been? What have you been up to? I would certainly recommend that they come and see the dental hygienist. I've been so fortunate to have Cindy as my dental hygienist. And she uh, certainly looks out after me as much as I think Dr. Wright does because she catches things. And of course he consults, and, uh, but she's very good at what she does. He builds trust very easily. The fact that his staff love him is a great, um, it does a lot to me. The dentist that uh, I had before him um, was a wonderful dentist also. He was new to Corsicana. I was one of his first patients. And so when he left, I knew that someone taking his place would have big shoes to fill because he was such a nice dentist. and. Uh, Dr. Wright just, just moved right in and was easy to accept because you could tell right away he had such a warm personality. All the dentists I have been to in my life, and there have been quite a few, none of them are as concerned about your well-being as they are. They were there to do a job. I was a tooth. I wasn't a person. I was a bridge, I wasn't a person. I was a denture, I wasn't a person. Um, nothing was ever said, uh, they would do the visit and then they would say, well, this is what you need, so here, take this up to the front. And it was kind of, I felt like, okay, you're telling me what you want, but you're not giving me any options. And you're not fully explaining the why. Why is this the best? Dr. Wright did that. That's valuable. That's very valuable. He's an everyday person. He's a lot of fun. He likes to be outdoors, likes to be a daddy. With kids, it's a really easy philosophy. I've got a seven and five year old Cooper inside, so. With everybody else, it's kind of what would I do for myself if I was in their shoes? And that's one of our big philosophies that we constantly, um, our team leaders teach as well too, is meet the patient with where they're at. I know him, uh, he's, he's, he's got the, the background, the educational background, he stays up on the latest. And so you have, to, you, know, you have to trust as we go forward that he knows what's right. He's not gonna tell you what you have to have he's gonna tell you what you can have because he wants you to know in advance so that you can make an informed decision. You don't get that very much today. When he says that he needs to do something, he's looking out for your best interest and he gives you options. He'll say, well, we can do this or we can approach it this way. He wants it to fit your financial budget. Our treatment coordinators are absolutely marvelous at making it comfortable for somebody to talk about their finances with them. I never know anything about it because I don't want to know. I'm here to treat the patient, but their job is to make sure that everything goes well and meets the patient with where they're at. No pressure at all. After he told me what we needed to have done, we talked about it. We talked about cost areas and uh, if I could afford that type or they could help me with financing or whatever I needed done, and uh, they laid the whole option out to me. They left me whichever option I needed. That he's not trying to sell you something more than you need. Uh, th that he's looking out for what, you th what he thinks is right. And I think that's kind of funny that his name is Dr. Wright because he is Dr. Wright all along about what you should have done. Pricing certainly is a consideration and it is a consideration for everyone. It in my mind, I felt it was a surgical procedure being done because I needed to have it done, not because I just wanted to look pretty. I took his recommendation. I trusted him. I now can chew my food. That's a wonderful feeling. The cost is well worth it. Well, the day I came in for uh, surgery, 
I was very, very impressed that, that there was a, just a group of people around me. And one thing I admire them for, I'm a man of Jesus Christ. And they gathered around me and said a prayer. And I thought that was very, very nice. But they also asked me if it was okay if they did that. And at no time during that whole day was I ever left alone. We're carefully monitoring them with extra people, with everything that they would have on an ambulance. We already have the ambulance materials and everything here. He has a, uh, an EMT there that uh, uh, if something happened during the procedure, that uh, he would have someone there available to, uh, to help. And so they monitored my blood pressure and I had all of my teeth pulled. We remove everything that's, that's questionable, everything that's out. And so we get rid of the periodontal disease that might be underneath it, the bone loss. We're able to basically bulldoze all of the bad off to where we get a, a flat area. And then what we use, we utilize implants as our anchors and then we, uh, a week to two weeks prior, typically, we will have the teeth made for that, specifically for that patient. My prosthetics technician will come alongside and we will coordinate together to make sure that everything is aligned so that it will last for a really, really long time, hopefully for the, the rest of the patient's life. He would pull the teeth and uh, put the, the studs in. The, uh, Teeth are on a, like a horseshoe, and uh, they are uh, bolted or, or screwed in to those studs. He put them in the jawbone, and then he put these temporary teeth in my mouth, which I have now, and I'll keep them for six months. So it, was, it was a good six to eight months before that uh, when uh, we, we began to, to put the permits in. During that six months, our hygiene team is watching over the patient exactly to the specifications that I want them to do to make sure they're protected until we, it, it turns time to make their final set of teeth. So I went in that morning and, and I came out that evening about five o'clock uh, with a new set of teeth. They send you home with a water pick tool they teach you how to use it before you leave. And then each time you go back, they ask, you know, are you still using? What are you doing? What's your number? Blah, all that, you know, to make sure you're, you're keeping up with it. I love that thing. That's the best thing ever made for dental hygiene. It's great. I use the water pick faithfully every morning and every evening. I'm probably taking better care of them now than what I did beforehand. He's very diligent about following up with his patients. When I had my implant, he called to make sure I was doing okay at home and making sure everything was going well with me. They checked on me after I'd been in and done something. He would call me and see how I was doing. They uh, worked with me and, and I, I went back probably uh, three times during that, that uh, six months time, uh, one time to, to clean them and, and to see how, and they would check to see how things were going. 24 hours later, I had to come back in after surgery and uh, several people take a look at me and Dr. Wright was in, he taken a look at me and everything was good. And I could continue to do what they asked me to do. And uh, I just kept improving every day. I was feeling so good about my mouth. It was just super good shape, I, no problems at all. And I think he was more or less impressed with that I had improved as much as I had. And he even asked a couple other people to come in and look and he made a comment, this is what it's supposed to look like. People don't end up hurting a lot from this procedure at all. When we're doing full mouth implants, like on a scale of one to 10, most will say a two or a three. Some people don't take any pain meds at all. I can say, I didn't hurt. Really, I did not have any pain. The procedure was not painful at all. They actually put a screw into your, I guess your bone, and then uh, formed the tooth and 
put it in place and it's like you never had a missing tooth at all. And it's worth the investment. He's painless most, most of the time. He's painless, he really is. I said that to his wife, Jenny, and she said, well, that's the way it's supposed to be. Well, I feel great about it. And I can see a future with no more pain in my mouth, no more loose teeth. And I am so glad that I had this done. I had always said that if I had a tooth problem, teeth problem, that I would just have my teeth pulled out and get, get dentures. And I never thought that I would really face it, to tell you the truth. But uh, when it came time and, and uh, uh, to have it done, and he recommended that, that I go to implants, that that was, was the best thing. And, and I'm glad I did because they are permanent. They don't move around. And so many people uh, that had the dentures, you have to take them out at night to clean them. To, they you see the, <laughs> used to see and put them in a little glass to clean them at night. That in itself, to me, is is worth a lot. That that they are permanent, and you don't have to worry about those things because the things that I have to do, you were doing anyway and it, it's not that big a deal. It was a great procedure. I, I thought it was wonderful. I no, no issues, and um, I would recommend it to everyone. Uh, if you have a missing tooth, get an implant. There is no difference that I can tell in a tooth uh, than in an implant. I don't even know they're there. They're there. I don't have to to do worry about them. All I do is, is clean them, brush them. It's like you're having a, your own natural tooth. Are you willing to take that step? And it, it's a big step uh, to do that, but uh, it, it would be worth it. I tell people this all the time. I cannot imagine ever having another dentist. I just can't. Very, very professional guy and he was the one I'll go back to the little prayer and that impressed me and I will never ever forget that I'd, I'd highly recommend them to anybody I would recommend uh, that if they needed dental care just right dental would be the place they need to show up first because they won't go anywhere else once they come here and a couple of people that I've talked to, they told me, said, oh, we already been up there. We like them people, they're good people. And I, and I have nothing but good things to say about everyone that I have run into on this staff. I don't guess I've ever seen or known a better dentist. I would recommend him to everyone. Um, I think that he's made the overall experience a good one from walking through this, the front door to this beautiful facility to uh, having on staff wonderful people. Everyone does a professional job in a friendly manner. And um, I can't imagine um, finding anyone else. I don't understand why everybody isn't going to him. Really, and honestly, I know there are good dentists here, but most have this idea that they're a professional, and there's a line that they can't cross, and they don't. He does. It's been a good experience, I, and, and as I say, I would recommend anyone that, that's having a problem that, with their teeth that, that's really bothering, that they need to explore. I don't know of anybody else that can do it any better than Justin Wright. When they go back to work, a lot of people are like, something's different about you. <laughs> and that, that really cracks me up. It's like, what is it? And like, oh, I guess I slept well, you know, so. Um, and then others are more dramatic because they've never smiled in front of anybody for years and they've covered their mouth. And now they're all smiles and they actually have to learn to smile again. We have muscles that 
of our face that allow us to smile and when you don't use them, you gotta learn to use them again. They're still there. That's why we love doing what we do, man. I know Justin, he doesn't care what you say about him. He knows what he can do. Personally, I've never known a person that was more given than he was, than he is, or caring. He's got good judgment. And uh, when you genuinely care for people, some, most of the time, it's rewarded back to you that the people will care for you. They'll take care of you. It's like, how many more people can we, do we get to meet, that we get to have life impact with and get to share that part of their lives with, so. We like them, come, come, let us do it right. You know, let's treat, treat them right, and if there's things that need to be made right, that too, all day long. You know, I can date, I can smile, I can talk, I'm not afraid, and I don't have to hide. We don't know how it's gonna change your life. We don't know what those, what those are gonna be. We've seen marriages put back together, and we think that's a blessing. Um, and we've seen people um, that never would smile before smile. And quite frankly, um, I think humans were made to smile. When I first looked in the mirror, I thought, oh my God, I look like my mother. I thought, oh, I have her smile. I never knew that. I think that uh, it does give you confidence uh, as far as knowing that when you smile, people think that you may have a nice smile because your teeth are nice and straight and white. When people smile, obviously better things happen to them in life and they're more receptive. I had students who, taught, who would ask me every day, what's wrong? But I couldn't smile, I couldn't do, I couldn't be engaged with them the way that I wanted to. And now it's different. As humans, we wish that we didn't judge another human by their smile or their appearance or something like that. But reality is, we, we do. It's just us being human with it. So it's a real joy for us to see on the backside the surprises always. What's going to happen to them? What's going to happen in their life? And I'm passionate about that, <laughs> obviously. Big <Yeah>. crab, baby. <laughs> I mean, where else in life can you, in a short period of time, where can you get to do what you love with the people that you love and then have a surprise that's going to come out of their life that we just get to sit back and watch, you know, pieces of it. But still, pieces are good enough. We'll take that all day long. I mean, yeah, why would I want to do anything else? I mean, I don't think I'll have to. It's just not really work, you know? I mean, it's, yeah, it's strenuous on our bodies and stuff like that, but a passion, a passion like this is and pretty unquenchable, you know. I don't have a real toothy smile, but that's okay. I love to smile, I love to laugh. And I can do that now. <laughs>